Hi guys, this is Joel with Guitar United here at the 2015 Summer NAM at the beautiful Music City Center and uh, got one of the nicest guys here. Uh, this is Chris Martin. Chris, how you doing, dude? I'm good. Good to see you. Awesome. Thanks for doing, taking the time, sir. Oh, of course, I'm, always. I'm, 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 I try to catch you on, on Thursday when uh, you're not burnt, but... No, I'm fine. I'm good. I mean, yeah, it's a public day. I love it. Yeah, that's cool, man. I tell you, it is, it is pretty busy here today and... And, uh, and and on the Anaheim show, we were talking about the D35 50th sure. anniversary yeah. of the D35. Yeah. And it still is the 50th anniversary yes, sir. of the D35. Yes, so sir. we have two more models. And I have that little celebrate. plaque you gave me. Oh, okay. Right so let me show dad. you what we have. Yes, sir. Um, not only was the standard D35 introduced in 1965, the 12 string was. And so we're going to make a run of these. Uh, we made about 190 of them. So that's about how many we're going to try and make and sell. It's a little different than the original. It's a 12 fretter. Okay. Next, a little more narrow, and it doesn't have the slotted headstock, which is kind of a, a pain when you want to change the strings. I bet. Oh, but it this is. This is a reproduction actually. of the original 12 string D35. From 1965. Yeah. It's going to be gorgeous, I know. And one other one. Also an homage to a D35 with herringbone pearl inlay. And we're gonna make 60 of these. And the reason we're gonna make 60 of them is because I turned 60 three days ago. Awesome. <laughs> and because it was here at the show, someone said, Chris, aren't you gonna take something special to the Summer NAMM show in Nashville to celebrate your birthday? So here it is. Oh, so cool. <laughs> so love that's it, my story. It. Awesome, love it. Hey, you know what? You know, I know we always talk about really cool high-end guitars that you have yep, that are, yep. that are um, you know, that are kind of a seasonal thing. You always do something cool. I mean. A couple years ago, we did the Devil guitar. It was the Lumen hey, Brothers. Lumen Brothers, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. really cool. I really, I really. That was last year, I think. Yep. Last uh, summer now. Yep. But you know, we, we always walk by and we ah. saw this, and you know, we just think this thing here is just an every player's guitar. Right. And the, so the origins of this, in terms of volume, I mean, we've made guitars like this for quite a while, but it really came into its own during the Great Depression, at a time when our dealers said. We would love to sell Martin guitars, but the customers can't afford what you're offering. What can you do? And so we, we took a look at what we were offering. We said, well, we don't want to compromise on the materials. We don't want to compromise on the quality of the construction, but we can take off the ornamentation. And that's what we did. And out of that came this all mahogany guitar that even to this day continues to be a model, a series that's very popular in our line. Yeah, we, we love this series. The uh, what is it, the Aura system, yeah, the Aura Fishman, we're a yeah. huge fan of Fishman stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember and for, you you know, for a lot of folks, this is their first Nazareth Martin. Really? This gets them into a Nazareth made Martin at a price point that they're they're not shaking. And then, you know, maybe later they'll buy an HD 28. So. Yeah. Yeah, they will too. Yeah. And we just love all your guitars, buddy. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for saying Thanks so for proudly, sir. Yes, sir. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers.